Welcome to Free Circle Fireside. I'm your host, Ed Waters, and I want to bring you insight that's right, truth with integrity, and the stories that matter the most to you. So, climb on in, buckle up, let's take a ride on the fireside. Let's chill and roll with it. Desperation. We're going to talk a little bit about desperation today. Desperation is a noun. It's defined as a state of despair. Typically, one that results in rash or extreme behavior. Example is... She wrote to him in desperation. Synonyms, hopelessness, despair, distress, etc., etc. But the main focus here is a state of despair. Typically, one that results in rash or extreme behaviors. A lot of people tend to fall into desperation and when they fall into desperation they take irrational roads they they don't think right because they think everything is gone or The reason we're talking about desperation today is I think it's time people really think about what it's like to be desperate. What desperation really is. You know, the world is getting very dangerous out there. You've got people cutting people up in embassies again. The world is mad, the world is on edge, and there's a lot of desperation going on. And it's coming from everywhere. So, I think it's wise right now to really think about where you are in your life. And if the world just went to heck in a handbasket, could you make it? That's that's the point here. Do you have any sort of skill set? If this world crumbled, where you could make a living? See, it's not going to be fun. And I see... Things gonna crash here real soon. We have people mad at the United States. And I don't think many nations right now would bat an eye if we were attacked. I think uh, our experts, our politicians, have put us into a situation where it's going to take the American people to stand up and fix it. Desperation? Do you know what it is? I think we all might be seeing it soon. Better find somebody that can hunt, fish, know how to start a fire, get out of the cities, That's my main key here for you guys today. I think it's time to think about being self-sufficient. It's not going to be fun. 
and I think our experts have done enough for us. So, desperation. I think we're about to see desperation like nobody's ever seen desperation before. You got to realize we're winding down to the last individuals that survived the last world war. And once all of the people that I witnessed it are gone, then it's all just historical murmurs. See? And then there's nobody to stand up and say, this is what happened. And I'm telling you, those that forget history, they're doomed to repeat it. And it's not not going to be fun at all. And once we get that part into our head, you'd better start looking around the world instead of at your zuzus and whamwams, your big cars, your big boats, your big homes. See, those people on Skid Row, they know how to be hungry. They know what desperation is. But those of you that have never felt desperation, I'm going to give you a prayer right now. I pray for you. Understand what is coming. There are those that still care about people. I don't care if you're rich, you're poor, you're black, you're white. You know, it's... We need to start helping people. The world is a funny place. It's getting scary and very unpredictable. Desperation is about to set in to a lot of people. All I can say is I hope you're ready for it. All the stocking up of food and all of these preps, I don't think they're going to come in much good for anybody. When it all goes down and people are hungry, they're going to see that you're not hungry and they're going to wonder why. So all of you that are prepping, you're going to have a heck of a road. You got to be able to lay it all down and go. See, you need to start getting into the Bible. And it's time to start reading the book of Revelation understanding time is short I don't know I'm not a fear monger I just believe we are getting very close people need to start helping people start spreading love instead of hate I watched a video this morning of a nine-year-old black boy this woman accused him of groping her in the store it was on ABC News but this nine-year-old boy his backpack brushed up against the lady as they walked by in a crowded store this is where we are in life. You've got ladies so scared that a little boy brushes up against them, they're yelling rape. 
or groping. We gotta change this. Desperation. You're starting to see the first signs of it. And I hope and I pray that you are ready for the days ahead. Well, that's it for another Free Circle Fireside. Thank you for joining us. You can find us on the web at freecircle.website. You can join in on the live shows or leave a message and we'll get your voice out over the message. The call-in line is 971-533-7805. Join Free Circle, get your voice out, and thank you for joining the fireside. Ed, Free Circle, out.